Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to talk about uh, creation sheet metal pipe elbow in FreeCAD. So let's uh, start with Sketcher workbench here. Let's choose this workbench and let's create the profile of elbow line. Uh, so let's choose exit plane and uh, let's start to create the pipe uh, pass using a create polyline tool let's choose it in menu and just align segments uh, which connected for last uh, point okay let's create and set the some random position we will be using elbow for four segments just second third, and last segment here and uh, uh, here we have to set the some constraint of dimensions for these lines we can choose the line and set the constraint distance here let's set for example 50 millimeters here let's decrease it choose this line set the lens set equal distance and let's set equal distance for this line and for last line also And also we can set the some angle for our pass line here. For example, we can use for this a constraint angle a tool. We have to choose the two lines and after that we have to set the angle. We have the three angles here and let's set some value for this angle I think it can be this angle let's choose again the angle set here for example using these two angles we will get the green um, sketch it means that we have the fully connected sketch it's fully defined sketch and if you want to change some dimension of the sketch you have to change these um, parameters for example it can be length of the last line or it can be the first line length or another dimensions so let's set um, here the some small value of for our elbow and let's after that let's close a sketch and let's go to sketcher again and we have to create another sketch with prof uh, with profile of our elbow in front view okay let's choose for this xy plan you can find that we have to use xy plan on coordinate system and for this uh, view in top view let's create the circle the two different circles and let's set the constraint the radius for this for example let's set 20 and for example for this external it can be 21 it will be but I think we can to increase oh, sorry I have a perspective view I will change to orthogonal orthographic view it it will improve visualization of dimensions 
Okay, so let's set maybe some bigger value. Increase it to 40. I think it can be, I think 31 will be enough. And here we will set 30. And let's choose top view. And let's make a same gap between um, side, different sides of our elbow. We have to make it because we have, uh, we will create um, unfold body in second uh, step, uh, and uh, the sheet metal unfold body requires the same gaps between um, between surfaces so let's create line let's sorry let's create line and let's connect this line with these two circles and uh, how can you see we have the connected line and uh, after that let's set the position for this line is axis choose it and set the vertical um, constraint distance and set uh, the length of gap I will use this gap and uh, after that let's choose this line we'll go here choose it line choose the axis also with hold down control button on keyboard and let's go to symmetry and the symmetry create one else line symmetry for this axis and after that we can use the trim edge we will delete this line and this line of a circle and we will get this gap uh, between these two sides of our elbow it will be its internal gap for our elbow and after that let's close this sketch and let's go to part workbench and now we will create um, the sweep operation using the pass and the profile of um, a pipe so let's go to this sweep utility choose it and here we have to choose the sketch with profile choose this profile and let's uh, choose the pass line for our profile choose this all lines click here done press ok and uh, after that you will get this um, 3d model of your pipe elbow free cat so now how can you see we have the visualization of sketch here I want to hide it for hide it we can to use the space a button on keyboard click here or you can to use the right mouse and click to toggle visibility okay and uh, now uh, let's create the unfold body for the segments of our sheet metal pipe so let's go to curves workbench you can download it from add-on manager or you can use the draft workbench also the in draft workbench uh, we have also the um, tool for creation of surface from your um, 3d solid body so I will be use the curves you can download it like add-on in add-on manager you can find it here in add-on manager curves it's a very powerful workbench I recommend you to um, learn in it so let's go to curves 
and now let's choose this all surfaces, the external surfaces of a pipe elbow using control down um, button on keyboard and click it and uh, after that uh, let's choose this tool extract subshape it will uh, create the surfaces of external uh, surfaces of a pipe elbow if you can see it the surface has the zero thickness and after that let's go to um, mesh design workbench it is default workbench of a free cat let's choose it and here we have to create the mesh uh, for this sweep um, faces let's choose uh, all these faces using shift uh, hold down uh, button and choose all these faces and after that let's go to meshes and we have to create mesh through from shape let's use it set this surface deviation press ok and let's hide these surfaces and you will get the mesh format of the surfaces here and now uh, we can to unfold these meshes and get the unfold a part of these uh, segments of pipe elbow let's you choose the sweep face meshed and uh, let's go to meshes and make the unwrap mesh and how can you see the have got the shape uh, here of unfold of this um, um, segment so let's repeat this <coughs> operation for another segment use the sweep meshes and wrap mesh use this meshes and wrap mesh and the last one and wrap mesh and after that let's hide these all meshes using the sh shift uh, button on keyboard uh, hold down it and toggle visibility perform it and let's go to top view and how can you see here we have uh, let's go to top view in this uh, view presentation of top okay and now how can you see we have the some um, random position of this uh, unfold uh, shapes and let's make the some rotation of the shapes around um, that axis let's choose that axis and let's change angle i will choose it in random and let's go to second shape let's also return uh, rotate it to 20 30 i think it have to be sm smaller value i think this is a good let's go to here let's try to rotate it so it looks good let's go to last segment think this uh, will be enough so and now let's um, to translate these shapes and uh, in y-axis for example the first will be here it will be this this default uh, position and let's change the position in y direction 
let's go to position and y direction and let's increase this value to 8 for example 80 millimeters let's set the 80 multiply by 2 and for last let's choose 80 multiply by 3 and you will get your unfold parts of your pipe elbow here and after that we can to create the thickness for this uh, part let's go to part workbench and uh, let's perform the extrude operation for all these uh, shapes if we have the one millimeter thickness let's set the one press ok and you will get this shape of your unfold body here of sheet metal and let's uh, repeat this extrude operation for all this uh, stuff here great one millimeter thickness set it choose it here press ok and for last one press one millimeter and press ok and uh, now let's show our pipe elbow here and how can you see we have got um, the pipe elbow model with unfold parts of a sheet metal here so uh, let's hide it i i think this is a finish of this um, tutorial you can save it in one file or to different file or you can to make a compound uh, of these parts to one uh, directory so let's um, save the project let's call it something like pipe elbow press save and this is a finish of this video tutorial thank you for watching subscribe to the channel goodbye